has 5 t terabyte gaming hard drive has every game ever. Now he just uploaded a video called 96 terabyte hard drive has every game ever. Guys, that's how that's how many gigabytes of my my videos are gonna be because you download every video. I, I'm, I'm I'm at like 500 gigs. Um, yeah. Uh, eventually we'll we'll get into the terabyte range, but let's check it out, guys. It's been it's going kind of viral. Me a blank undisclosed hard drive, and what did I do? What anybody would do? Plug it in your computer, obviously. <laughs> no, uh, they sent me an email. Yo, first. that's cool. That's cool. I like these games, and games are awesome. This company had said they have this uh, gaming hard drive. Retro games are pretty awesome. He, um, you even know, though a lot of them, you know, are just collectathons, don't have, don't have multiplayer or anything. No, my understanding is it's very much like in this Kin Hank. These uh, these people making these drives are a similar company, and uh, you could buy this on Amazon. And they play the family game, guy, family ga guy game. Sorry. A fully loaded five terabyte hard drive with not only every system from Atari up to GameCube, but no, just a GameCube. That's good though. They don't want to get copyrighted. It also has PC games on it as well as you saw earlier in the earlier video. PC. Oh snap. Okay. So it's quite. Surprise! Linus didn't uh, make a video about this. Extensive. Um, and a lot of the games worked out of the box with the Xbox 360 controller. They even sell it with a controller. So I'm just going to do what I do, which is check it out. You know, it's, it's a hard drive. So many companies sell controllers nowadays. Definitely, as you see in this video, it's not the best option out there. But for something you can buy on Amazon, it's kind of intriguing. You can see I, I, didn't, I didn't think they'd make it to Amazon. Guys, look into this, man. Every game ever. Just the GameCube collection alone here. But uh, what we'll do is we'll um, check out the game collections on the three different operating systems. Yes, three as Retrobat, Launchbox, and Play Night. And we'll check out all three, the themes, the games. Let's go. Let's do it. When you commented, they, they do this one rather than dumping all their games, which, you know, makes sense. It takes a while to dump all your games, and, you know, it takes a while to collect all these games as well. Literally all this is, is the box to the external hard drive enclosure. You know, so they're just buying these external hard drive enclosures, throwing in a hard drive inside, and loading it with ROMs. Oh, I didn't know you could just buy an external hard drive like that, guys, with the USB? That's what I need to get. 5 terabyte. That's actually pretty big. Barracuda drive. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We have our um, arcade vertical games. These are games that you can play uh, vertically, shoot em ups, things like that. Snap, even the arcade games, bro. You have uh, 600... I can guarantee they didn't really like... Uh... Purchase the rights of these games, very good. 29 of those. 3DO, you got 138. Amstrad CPC. I don't know what 30, 3DO is. Almost 3,000. GX4025. Apple II 470. Apple II GS. 148. Arcade, only 11. This is not the right arcade. This is the arcade right here, MAME. So this is going to be your all your arcade games. Uh, you can absolutely jump around pages. I do like the user interface, guys. You know what I mean? Handheld console featuring 999,999 games on one cartridge included. What the heck? Things like that. But uh, they're probably going to have 18 plus games. So in they, got, they got game compilations inside the games. There, you know, m mature games in there, duplicates, things like that. Light gun games. There's a ton, a ton of arcade dump. They're probably also not going to necessarily be optimized either. But, you know, there's a lot of arcade games. Atari 20 it's like a copy and paste kind of situation, you guys. 600, 600, Atari 800, 2700, almost 5200. So pretty much all the games. So 95, 854. Here. Looks like he's playing a good amount of games here. There's a games played thingy, which is kind of cool. 7865, Atari Lynx 82, and you even have Jaguar here. Uh, you go in and you have all your games here. Never even heard of a Jaguar, guys. It looks like a phone. Look. With a digit pad right there. I had no idea. That's a janky controller right, right off the bat. Well, and fun apparently they have Dooms and Doom and stuff on there. See, I've always liked 3DO, Jaguar, Sega Saturn. Um, and then not on this build, but later we'll get into um, <clears throat> the um, GameCube. And I like those. I mean, obviously, Nintendo 64 is awesome. But like you can find builds with those all the time. 
kind of the ones that a lot of people skip over are the 3DO, the um, uh, Sega Saturn, and then the GameCube. GameCube because they're being so big. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, some other systems too, like Wonder Swan. Guys, I don't know. Most of these systems, guys, most of these systems got eliminated once we start getting to the, you know, PS1s and stuff, right, guys? Like a Thomas Wave name. But everybody's trying to get in the gaming market when it was a. Oh, that's a handheld? What the. Way. Me, you don't see all the time. Even Capcom made a system. What? There's no way. But more and more common. Wonder Swan 114, Wonder Swan Color 91, CPS 1, 2, and 3 system, all the games there. You know, those are going to be your Street Fighter, stuff like that, arcade games. Coleco 146, Commodore 64. Played 40 or Coleco Vision, man. 6,500. As long as they're save states and load states. And it's a good, it, it, it's a, it's playable, right, guys? Nobody's trying to start from the start of the game. Jesus. Armador. Commodore Amiga 500, 2600. Amiga CD, 144. Commodore CD TV, 35. Odyssey 2, 113. Intellivision, 149. Vetrix, 46. Sam Coop, uh, that is uh, 31. Uh, Coupe or Coop? All right, MS DOS. We played these a, little, a while ago, guys. Let's play two eight. So yeah, this yeah this while before, a while before you even made a video, guys. He made this video two months ago. So three and they're all the shareware games here. Um, I'm not clicking into every single game. I mean, there's just so many here, and especially for these. Smaller like he plays this quite often, though, right, guys? For systems, it's really easy to get a ROM really easily. PC Engine two ninety six. I wonder if you could also put ROMs on it. That'd be cool. Fifty-five. So it's gonna have a lot of your games on here, anyways. So many retro game consoles. Wow. <laughs> We're not even up to the early two thousands yet. Super Graphics Five, PC FX Fifty, Game and oh, Watch. Here we go. Now Nintendo's gonna dominate the market, guys. Fifty-nine Nintendo. So eighteen hundred games, a ton of games, and yes, it will have your Super Mario, all that stuff. These companies don't care about Nintendo. They just throw everything on here, no matter what. Family computer dis. They're not scared of big Nintendo guys. They're retro games. They don't really come after the retro games that much, right, guys? System 209, Game Boy 1175, Super Nintendo. Well, that's a weird intro, guys. And Mario is coming out of that pipe. 1160. And again, it's going to have all of them. I already checked. It has Super Mario All Star. It has Super Mario RPG. It has Super Mario RPG. RPG's RPG. fun game. Car, all that stuff is the on tail there. of you. What is that, guys? That's a Nintendo console? What the heck? Looks like a. a Variation of a uh, Super Nintendo or something. So Teleview 123, Virtual Boy 33, Game Boy Color. Yeah, it has Mario's, it has the Donkey Kong's, hey. it has the Pokemon's. They're all going to be there. Nintendo 64 DD. Uh, DD. Oh, oh my gosh, they made games for that? We've got six games here. I'm wondering right here what we're looking at on this screen, work in progress. Uh, these themes that they have here, they have a bunch of different pre-installed themes. They're not all set up for um, the amount of systems that are on here. That's kind of a lame about this thing, but that's... Well, even Pokemon Mini, guys. What the heck? You get Game Boy I didn't Advance even know they released that, guys. 1800. Pretty much oh, snap. Look at that. Even when you click in, you'll see all the two-in-one games. So lots of duplicates because of the two-in-one and the video games. Dang, <laughs> even the two-in-ones, guys. I didn't even know they had two-in-ones. What the... <laughs> Excuse me. When I say video games, I mean games that were literally videos right they're, they're movies <laughs> movie games pokemon mini 43 nintendo DS. all right now we're to nintendo ds already guys 3800 and again nintendo ds ds jesus so many bad games for this system like the two and ones all those dog games trivia games and i was watching scott the was he likes the dog games <laughs> it's just a lot of just junk in there but they're still gonna have your mario your mario kart stuff like that if there's no search, okay, there is a search option. I'd be super pissed if there wasn't. Nintendo 3DS 21. Oh, they're, they're on 3DS? Super NES MSU. These uh, have a... Now, you do need the hardware to really run this, right, guys? It's not a gaming system. And some music. I highly recommend checking them out. A lot of your favorite games. Open Board Beats of Rage. 280 games there. Thomas Wave. 20 six games and it's going to run great on a computer if you have a decent computer sg 1099 second master system 442 we got to d so it's not chronologically guys we got to ds before we even got to take a mega drive like it's still like a 2d kind of thing right mega drive so all your game gear 406 and it'd be cool to have all these retro consoles especially the handhelds I guess i'm more interested in the retro handhelds of all things D. So this is your Japanese Mega CD. 
Sega Model 2, I just want to jump down to that they do have uh, Sega 32X, and I thought I saw another Sega CD somewhere. Okay, never mind. That's your Sega CD. I thought I saw something else. What did I see that's confusing me? I don't know. Okay, uh, so this is going to be your Sega CD, and then you have Sega Model 2. So this is going to be your House of the Dead, uh, I think Time, what is the, cri what cri Virtual Cop 1 and 2, so good light gun games on here as well. And if they have like the really old like arcade games I used to play back they get in the day like the zombie ones I used to be super addicted to those that would be super cool uh Sega 32x 37 pretty much all of them model 3 there's some cool games on here uh these were really fun arcade games and those are all set up for you like the Lost World Jurassic Park fun light gun game right there Naomi 109 games and remember, there's a whole separate Dreamcast section, too. Snap. Okay, okay. They do have some of the Wave Runner. I remember that one, guys. What? Two that we covered in the video as well. Sharp 68,847. Sinclair ZX8170. Now they're making sure to get every single console, huh, guys. What is a Z Sinclair Spectrum, guys? That is a keyboard. 5,000 games on it. Wow. ZX Spectrum 5,000. Neo Geo 151, that's pretty much all the Neo Geo games. Neo Geo CD 104, it's pretty much all of those. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Supervision, and then you have some collections here as well. Uh, if you want uh, to get rid of some of these collections, you can hit Start on your controller, go over to uh, Game Collection Settings. Oh, Game Collection Settings, you can change what... Um, like they're even updating the app as well. Not bad, not bad. Guys, would you get this? Let me know in the comments below. You know what systems you want displayed you can turn some systems off um, you're not actually deleting the roms or the systems you're just not showing them in in the display here and so this is fun you could change the game settings the rom settings the you know filters things like that uh retrobat is great for those reasons let's not give credit to this company though they're not the ones doing it a lot of the who the hard, heavy lifting here was in retro arch and in the uh you know in the oh it's a retro arch it's like retro arch with pre-installed games and oh my gosh front end here retro bat and emulation station all right so i started the video out talking about emulation station in the game alien hominid that looks like a fun game games there finally get to play the, all the games i saw in store they're actually available well wow. bad boys made a game what the heck miami takedown and now you're looking at the gamecube list here and uh Later in the video, actually. Imagine I made a series or something. Playing, completing every GameCube game ever. <laughs> You'll see that the GameCube section is, you know, close to a terabyte. The PlayStation 2 collection is like a terabyte. Anyways, for some reason, they have LaunchBox um, running the more advanced systems, like the 2000s and older. Are you in the Bomberman? Bomberman sounds fun. Other systems, the PlayStation 2, the PS2. TV Robo, oh, snap. <laughs> And it was while I'm talking here, we're going to go through all these these games. So keep an eye on the screen if you want to see what games are included. But I just want to talk a little bit about the setup of the system. They look so cool with their box art, man. You look like you could just like pick up and get hours of fun off it. Right, guys? Now, um, this so in LaunchBox, you can either run regular LaunchBox, which is free, or you can then buy a license. The license is not too expensive. So even the PSP. That's my old, my old, um, my old Chrome, but could it even... It had a terrible processor. It could run PSP pretty well. If I highly recommend it. Um, it does not come with a free license, which I'm happy to see that. Like, you should totally support LaunchBox. Uh, but I moved over my LaunchBox license, and then they I... They ain't got no Wii U. They ain't got no Switch, though. I was able to access Big Box. You're able to download, like, additional themes. There's lots of features that are unlocked for you. And if you're wondering what the hell is LaunchBox, it's the screen you're looking at right now. It organizes all the games and uh, does all the settings and such. And um, big box. Uh, there's was there's all the NHLs. Oh my gosh! A, uh, the way Emulation Station, what we were looking at earlier, it looks more like that, right? It's a more even like, Scooby Doo up. had a game, guys. Wow! Full screen, full immersed. Experience. These games I missed out. I, I was playing just like Super Smash Brothers mostly, uh, and I didn't have all the, I didn't have money to get all these games. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I, I'm sure most kids didn't. Experience. I like this though, the way we're looking at these games now though, because you're able to see so many more games in a in a single shot. So you're able to see the game list uh, better. Now, um, 
so there you saw the GameCube. Uh, great, great, great collection. I think now we're in Nintendo. And so Nintendo is one of those systems where they added it to both emulation station. Now you can absolutely guide LaunchBox to the ROM folders in emulation. Guys, what is that game? That looks fun. 60, it just says 64 and there's a rabbit on there. It look, almost looks like a movie poster, right guys? Emulation station and then populate this whole LaunchBox build. With Dang, all we could even play some of the Jap Japanese games, guys? No way. That's, games. Um, that's, that's absolutely possible. And then vice versa, you can get Emulation Station to run all these games that we're looking at right now, like Nintendo 64, etc. It's kind of weird that they have half and half. Oh, Bust and Move? I, that, that, actually, that game is fun, man. That game is pretty fun. That's so probably I like that better than Tetris, if anyone's played that. But that should be... Weird should be... <laughs> uh, an ongoing the box art for Japanese games was so different different guys like what the like a DVD almost um, theme for this particular build and that's exactly what you're buying in this thing I'm going to talk about it at the end but you know you're going to get a lot of duplicates you're going to get ROMs from all over the Glover world too? there's a Glover too. what world and they're not going to be sorted correctly you might get um settings that are incorrectly done you're going to have to remap your controller occasionally you're going to have to mess with some settings so it's not perfect but um i do want to also say that i understand that the people that are interested in something like this don't want to go to the hassle especially as nintendo's shut down a lot of rom sites and stuff they don't want to go through the hassle of you know finding a good website and where to get stuff and download it and unrar it and put it with the right core and download the right core yeah, yeah, I mean, going out and like you know, getting all these games would take a while if you were to download them, uh, illegitimately. You know, most people watching this, or if you're still watching it, you're a fan of emulation and you know this. But um, there's gonna be a there's quite a big market for. I mean, case in point, Nintendo Minis, right? SNES Mini, NES Mini. People love the plug and play one. You could argue that they like the collectibles. Just because it has a... I mean, I would never buy this, guys. Well, but um, they love plug and play. Now... PS1 um, as well. There's so many PS1 games. I'm just, just chatting as we go through the games list here. P PlayStation is also another system. There's a ton of games for us. So it's kind of nice to have. But as you see here, there's artwork missing. It doesn't have all the artwork. Yeah, bro. They, got, they cut corners or something. Guys, they ain't got all the artwork. You, know, you would think that for the price they're charging for this hard drive that they would do all that, but unfortunately not. Um, they got some like toy soldier games as well. So you'll notice also I want to bring up the fact that there's a third uh, operating system here or, or front end. So you have Emulation Station, Retrobat, and then you're going to have this launch box. And then they have the newer games like Cuphead and Crisis and stuff like that. And that actually runs on... Um, Cuphead? What? One Cuphead co come after them for uh, getting Cuphead on there, guys. And something called Play Night, and uh, that's there's a, a game called The Da Vinci Code. What? Nether front end. So there's three applications on this build. Oh my gosh, I gotta play that one day, man. That'll all. I should make a Let's Play channel. I might. I've been considering it, guys. Different games. So here you go. You got PlayStation Three. And, uh, yeah, you can play light gun games and Guitar Hero games on PlayStation 3. You could technically hook up a guitar via USB or something like that and set it up through the emulator. Um, and same with the light gun. You could, it, is, it is possible. Easy? No. Possible? Yes. Um, not super hard, but not super easy either. Um, so as I'm scrolling through these games, uh, shout out to Quad Damage. He helped me record this video. And uh, you have a bunch of uh, PSP. PSP, PSP. Oh, that game looks fun. I don't know what that game that is, but PSP. Look at that PSP. You got a mixture of minis and with actual games. It doesn't look that great, but there's a lot of games here. There's a lot of. I don't know. They actually discontinue the PSP guys somehow. Like, why did they discontinue all the handhelds, guys? We ain't got no handhelds now. 3DS is gone. What's going on? I mean, Switch. I guess Switch. Like, what's the point? I did like using the uh, with, with the switches out because switches touchscreen handheld, but the two screens, bro, they're that's gone, bro. PSP doesn't really get produced either, right, guys? Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. 
nice looking games. I think we look at the actual megabytes later. There's like almost six. I, I guess the uh, Android beat out all, all, all the reason, the, the, the point of having a, you know, a handheld, it seems. Six megabytes or more of games here. Need for speed. It's lots of fun. The, um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice set here. Not as many. Uh, I didn't even know Sonic had a game on PSP. They got Sonic Rivals, though. Images missing on this one. Um, if you want, if I miss, if you really like, you know, I didn't get a game for you. I know that the person who sent me this sent me another YouTube video with a bunch of the game lists. So the game lists are out there if you need to look for a specific game. Um, Super Nintendo, this is going to be the same games that were on the emulation stage, the Retro Bat build uh, as well. All right, and then last but not least, these are this is Play Night. These are the PC games that would. Looks like it's PS5 or something, right, guys? That's what the UI, UI reminds me of. Be included. Um, you can access them in the folder called Play Night on the hard drive. You double click it, it loads up this. And I did test one of the games and it did work. So pretty wild that they also have this included as well. Got Stray as well. I got I got an email to play Stray, which I think is a fake email for like a sponsorship or something. My current laptop can't run many of these games though. I like this theme. I don't like this page on the theme, but once you're in the games, it's not bad. Once you're in this. Yeah, they got a comic book style man. They they spent a while to like uh, get these uh themes in list here it's not bad been a good amount to get these cool things but you can move you can move systems this way too if you want this one's nice so i did want to show you that wow they really did fill this thing up 4.5 terabytes worth of games and if you're like i mean you could just clear out all the games and um or like uh, keep the ones you want and then just have the terabyte the, the five terabyte hard drive me and the first thing you click is emulation station thinking that everything's going to be on there you would be mistaken um they give you a little bit of instructions here about what you need to install first make sure you're on a 64-bit operating system and then uh make sure you open up retrobat this way as a non oh man a uh, read me a uh, freaking a setup like this bro oh man now, uh, mine booted right up, you know, because I've done builds like this before. But something you need to know just right off the bat is that there's LaunchBox and Emulation Station. And LaunchBox, when you load it, has going to have your PlayStation 2, your PlayStation, all your newer games, 2000s and newer. LaunchBox is going to be running those. Where Emulation Station is going to be running all your 1980s, 1990s games. So it's unfortunate that it's on two different platforms. Um, I know, right? They, they could have made it one, man, sadly. It's like probably some freeware as well, man. Um, I imagine it has to do with the emulator cores, even but though... We're paying for the work of them taking all these games and putting them on a the hard drive. Oh, you should be able to do it the other way around, but here you got Nintendo 64, you got Nintendo, uh, regular Nintendo, it looks like, and then you have uh, Sega Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, PSP. And we're going to go through those later in this video. And if there's duplicates, I'd be mad, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, there you go. There's all your games here. Even as Techno Parrot? No, no Techno Parrot. They're just pre-populated. So you got some of your ROM stored here in the launch box. You got Dreamcast, GameCube. Now, the GameCube is amazing. I mean, if anyone's going to buy this hard drive, it's right here for this. I mean, that's quite a download. It's 700, almost 700 gigs worth of game. Yeah, bro. Cube. It's like all my videos. PlayStation 2. That's how much uh, all my videos are, around 500 gigs. Got to be pretty uh, big. One terabyte of PS2 games. Let's look at all those. Boom. A lot of games. Um, so back to ROMs here. Let's uh, fast and forward a little here, guys. Works and it says what it... To the final to thoughts. Thankfully, you made chapters. Deliver, I have to give it credit for that. Now, the downsides are pretty obvious, right? A lot of duplicates, a lot of just a lot of bloating, you know, a lot of things that aren't quite set up. It's not super polished. 
that being said, is it, are you just getting ripped off? Are they not delivering you anything? No, I wouldn't say so. I'd say you're getting quite a few things. Um, as far as actual hardware you're getting, remember you're just getting that hard drive. You know, go look up what a five terabyte hard drive is, and then you can see the difference. But um, I understand a lot of people have slow download speed. May just chilling right there, like. So imagine like how much bandwidth you're selling, especially if like you have a broad your broadband provider charges you overage if you go over. A certain That's like a fun cap. game though. Ooh, what is this? Um, so you know, there's value in everything. Jack and Dexter um, or something. It's not the best, but it's also not all. So many, so many platformers were collectathons, and they still are. It's a common thing. Bad. So collectathons are pretty fun, though. You know, you make up your own mind. I was hoping to just showcase the whole entire thing, so you can see what kind of emulation. Alright, guys, that's a video. Check out Drew talks in the description. Someone said it's legal. We read that it's legal, but it's doing a better job preserving games and game companies are doing. I know, right there. There's only like a, a handful of like the Nintendo games on the Switch you can actually play. I'm more press how brazenly illegal that it's being sold on in the US on Amazon. And watching you scroll through all of these games gave me so much joy. I actually gotta get one of these. Yeah, it was, it was. But yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all, all my reactions live on Twitch. I'll come through, say hi. Please consider donating and I'll see you guys next one.